going to be Scott Gillespie with the first opportunity, though. And we, you mentioned that we saw him earlier on against Christophe Lambert. We did. Since then, he's had to go away and, and play again and had to pull out a buzzer beater to find his way through to this stage and then a six did red he? shootout. It was quite incredible what, what he had to do in the, in the previous round against Dylan Leary. Yeah, I haven't seen those games. I've been uh, out in the sticks on table three for two or three matches. So I've been out there with various friends, Cole Bedford and John Rowe joining me out there. And also have Mark Shepherd, of course. Yeah, so I didn't, didn't get to see Scott play since this morning. I did see earlier that Dom Cooney won his match 7-4 to get into this quarter-final. As we were saying earlier, Simon, about Scott Gillespie and the confidence in being sort of not playing his best pull for quite some time and you know, what will it take to, to get yourself back in it? And it's sort of starting to come, isn't it? Yeah, I think round on round, you know, performance on performance. He said after we, we saw him against Christoph that he's, he's still just, he's struggling. He feels really good, gets out there, and then the the minute that he plays his first shot, the table just seems to catch him out, and then he loses his complete confidence in what he's trying to do with the cue ball. And as you well know, when you've not got the, the confidence of where you're trying to put the cue ball, it doesn't matter how well you see the game and how good your patterns are, you're going to have, you're going to really struggle out there. Absolutely. Sort of bump there into that red. Taking his time a bit, Scott Gillespie seems to be going down to the the beeps with most of his shots. Wants to make doubly sure that he gets his finish right at the start. He just wants to try and fall in this gap between those two yellows in the middle of the table so he can get this red and he's going to kiss the yellow and salute himself. Yes, he is. And that was always going to be the danger for Scott Gillespie. Yeah, it felt like it was coming, didn't it? It was not not a good uh, not a good line really to try and find. A valiant attempt to try and cut that red back towards that corner, but didn't make contact. So it'll be ball in hand for Dom Cooney. L little shake of the head there from Scott Gillespie. Now the man from Cambridgeshire. I was lucky enough on Bjorn Combs just earlier watching his, his good friend and doubles partner Luke Gilbert just get over the line against Christy Caulfield. That was some game as well. Yeah, Luke's a, a fabulous player, one of, his, one of the best players of his generation, really. He's one of the youngsters coming through. He's, what, 23, 24 now, and, or 22, 23. I've probably done him a little bit dirty there, but yeah, very, very talented player. Well, that was 6-6, uh, six, six and Christy had a dry break, and Luke took them out. He kept himself together very well. And uh, it's a very, very good game of high quality. Yeah, and he's now going to take on Carl <coughs> Morris in the in the quarterfinals. Carl's come through his matchup with Sean Chipperfield. Carl Morris back in the in the quarterfinals. This almost feels like year one of Ultimate Pool. We've got Sean Story, we've got Carl Morris, Luke Gilbert. Sorry, Luke Gilbert was a challenger back then, but Scott Gillespie, Tom Cooney, Declan Brennan. It's it's what we were seeing in early stages of season one.
He'd like to come a little bit further up there with a the cue ball. Now he's got that angle, it might make up his mind that he's going to have to play this a little bit firmer than he'd like and come off the rail and get the cue ball into the middle of the table now. If he'd have come up further, he could have just dropped this in and drop the yellow in the middle, but just caught him out a bit there. Just a bit on the soft side. I don't know if he's thinking he can still hold for that middle. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest doing that because I don't think he can. Well, he's gone more than I thought he would, but he's played it very well. Yeah, floating it round very nicely. Knows his angles. Just the last yellow, and now a routine black ball into the middle pocket, and this will be for the opening frame to Dom Cooney. And in it goes. Here he is in another quarter final. Lost out 7 6 yesterday to Cormac Kerr in a fabulous quarter final match. Not what Goobsy was looking for. Hit them well enough, just couldn't find one to fall. Looks like a good chance at first glance. Just a little cluster around the uh, eight ball, but it's not too bad. Red ball's in play. Well, the black ball will definitely go into this bottom left-hand corner past that yellow. And the red will definitely go into the bottom right. But it's getting on the red. Yeah, because you can kind of see the route to, you <coughs> to do it as a last ball, really. Because the one bottom right gets on the one on the bottom cushion, then gets back on the one into the centre. But then you're leaving it last ball, and then you're not guaranteed. So it just feels a bit out of the, the route, out of the pattern. Yeah, I think he's just looking now, probably drop this one in over the bottom right-hand corner. One along the bottom rail, middle. If he has that, just get that little angle there to pop that. The last red will be the one next to the black, I think. Yeah. As long as he can get on it without having to disturb the, the black was what I was thinking. Yeah, this is the thing, because it is a bit tight there. And you could easily bump into it and push the cube on top of that yellow. And yeah. it can all go into an absolute nightmare. What I like about this is he's just got the cube at a little tiny angle here, Simon, so he just pops the cube away from that bottom rail. He's got right close to it as well. That's a lovely shot from Dom. Right, well, he's got his pick of his position here. But like you said, Simon, this has to be very, very precise the way he leaves his cube for that last red. He's going into it. The the beauty of that shot where he is, though, if he just drags the cue ball back a bit, so he pulls it away from the yellow, the black will go towards his bottom left-hand corner, and the cue ball should come with it. Yeah, Beautiful. Nice. He just got perfect on it, didn't he, so he can control things. Very good visit to the table, this one from Dom Cooney. A reverse clearance. I actually commentated on him for the first time in Ireland, uh, the World Championships. He was playing for Ireland in the 23s, and it caught my eye instantly, the level he was playing at. Yeah, he's a just tremendous talent. And he's a nice lad as well. well. Not the best of strikes on the break here. Look at the cue ball. Whenever it goes underneath the centre pocket, you know he's not caught it as he wants to. So no, Scott Gillespie has a, a chance that he needs to start on taking. Top of that with the cue balls there, bouncing around, stopping balls going up the table as well. So...
opens the balls up, but is he on anything? I think he can just get through to the yellow left centre, but it's a little delicate. I don't know, he can punch the double in with that yellow. I'm just wondering if the natural line takes him on and off the cushion towards the red directly below the eight ball and whether that wins him the frame if he gets that shot. Not quite the line, but you can see what I mean. If he could, could have got on that yellow by the eight ball, he'd be right centre. He's having a go at himself there. Seeing point in his hand, he's saying, how have I ended up there? You know, he's... Uh, he's in a... Not to say a dark place, but he's in a little bit of... Uh, yeah, and it is exactly what he said when, when he was interviewed. He's, he's just really struggling to to feel that cue ball, he's, if he's, he's guessing on where it's going to end up. That's yeah. not a good place to be. He's looking a bit of a tormented soul at the moment, yes, Scott. And you see the head shakes and just it's not, he's, he's not a happy camper. And you've got a very calm, cool and collected Dom Cooney at the other side of the table as well. Yeah, who can feed off what he's seeing. Mm. Yeah, Tom looking very calm out there. bit cagey right now. The two reds are stopping Dom from really wanting to do anything. Nothing that Scott can do from the two positions he's found since running into trouble. So just trying to keep each other at arm's length. Yeah, Dom want, obviously wants to try and develop those two reds, but he can't do it without leaving Scott Gillespie in a, in a better position where he's at at the moment. So Dom just continuing to just leave the cue ball at the bottom of the table. Leaving the Scotsman struggling to find a pot. We saw him play this shot last time. He tried to just flick the yellow. I think he was trying to bump the yellow that's on that top rail away from it. And he, and he double kissed it and left it there. And that was... Yeah, it, if he gets that that first safety shot right, like you say, then that's over the pocket. And it's a lot harder for Dom to find the safety. Or well, not over the pocket. But it's in the middle of the table. Yeah, just want another option of a ball to yeah. strike up. Make it much harder for Dom to find the safety. And... Yeah, that's why he's nodding his head. If you want to, well, I don't know if you play it. I might play it if it was me. He's looking at. He's trying to scuttle that one back towards the middle of the bag. I'd, I'd want to play into these two reds, Simon, and I'd want to kick into the other two that are on the side rail, and play a very firm shot with Sider trying to drag the cue ball all the way down to the bottom of the table but it's on the the higher tariff of shots to play if you like yeah I wonder whether he could have come off that one kind of half ball and, and almost track the bottom right corner not quite on the line of the corner just on the inside of it it was going to be tight and no guarantees he was going to cover the one at the top of the table so it was just hard to find a good spot Gillespie playing the cut back into the centre. <coughs> Shall we cut it? Well, Dom Cooney can now plonk the red that's on the rail just the lower side of the middle towards his corner pocket and leave the cue ball stuck behind the other red and he'll leave him snookered. That's exactly what he's done. Cover that bag. Develops a ball that was in a tricky position.
Uh oh. No, he's not hit anything there. So ball in hand for Dom Cooney. He still has one ball to work out here. Well, two really. But he's got a keyboard in hand. He's got a big pocket down in his bottom right if you want to eliminate this uh, the, the red at the top. And you see he's going to attempt to do that. Yeah, and that's the one of the balls I was talking about. So that solves one. One above the eight ball. Does that have a pocket? Well, if it goes, then he's overhit that dramatically, but he's okay. He's got balls into the middle. But slightly surprised by the pace he's played at. I'm not sure he's on any of those in the middle. I think the other Reds come back up and blocked it. I mean, he's got a plant. I don't think he can clean, clean pot in there. He's playing a double. He's got the double. Well, he's, has he come far enough? He's, looks like he's just got on it onto the spread that you're on about, Simon. Above the black, he can now get it into this middle. Got to be careful with the cue ball. He wants to leave himself either on that plant or screw back and play the other balls. And again, he's flirting with these yellows. That one looks like he might have to just dig the cue ball round the yellow and play the plant. You see, he's just, just queuing down there. He wants to put a little bit of side on it. That's the shot. You see the spin with the side he put on to go round that yellow. It's now spun the cue ball the wrong side of this red. And it's all just because he was he was just a quarter of an inch short and this where this nightmare sort of was born from. And it's such an important stage of this match for the psychology in terms of he knows he's got his opponent down at the moment. His opponent's not got into this match. And the last thing he wants to do here is, is just gift him a frame and, and completely change the dynamic of this match. Well, it's still far from easy here. This pot of the red. How's he going to land? Oh, they just flick the. Ooh, Ooh is he? I don't, don't think so. No. Keyboard just catching that yellow as it was coming through. If it didn't catch the yellow, he was definitely on the black. Well, if you can't get it straight into that corner, it's, it's got to be the cross length of the table double, I feel. Having a couple of goes, <laughs> almost, almost an outrageous bit of fortune for Dom Cooney, but it's not, and it's a gift here for Scott Gillespie to get into this match. He's got to take that gift, and it's not a guarantee, but he should get these. You see, he's got the yellow over the bag. Now he has to position the cube. I mean, does he try and get low side of these two yellows? Because if he ends up staying towards the top. If he doesn't get on this lower yellow, he'd be forced to play a, a long plant. Just potted that a touch thick. Mm. This is not the sort of shot you want when you're feeling a little bit out there. And it's also... Sorry, go on. No, no, I was going to say, and also a 2-0 down, Simon. A 2-0 down is a huge factor, yeah. I was going to say, back in the you know pre-COVID times when, when Scott was winning everything he entered, but these are the sorts of shots that he, he just—he was never a never a thought that he would make a mistake here. And there still isn't. That was fabulous. Yeah, great cue in there from Scott Gillespie. That should lift his confidence up. On the board, two frames to one. Very, 
very interesting first 20 minutes of this match. Yes, that's right. 20 minutes of the 50 have been played for the first three frames. 29, 39 left. 2-1, Dom Cooney. Scott Gillespie with the break. And it's going to be dry. <laughs> Checks his shoes. Not happening for him on the break right now. Kind of a soft explosion. They did explode, and they've gone far and wide, just nothing falls. Cubel seemed to stop two of them in that top corner. This, this is the sort of layout I feel like we've seen on repeat this weekend. A lot of these sort of gettable but tough layouts, and it's not easy to keep consistently putting them away. Well, Don Cooney there, I think he's, well, can he get behind the yellow off the rail and Potter? He's having a little look with side. Yeah. Managed that one very well. Yeah, it seems we have seen this, these layouts and it's, you know, it's all about table management with them. Like you say, they're, they're, they're all there, but there's a lot of little finicky positional shots just to get from, from ball to ball. One false move or one overrun somewhere. You're, uh, you're in the cart. in the gap there so you can see the red through the gap of black and yellow it's played to be there as well it shows his the clarity in Don Cooney's mind at the moment as he, as he dissects these reds I mean this is pr real clear thinking to even see the shot to leave himself in that gap a second ago He's done well here though, hasn't he? He's done very well. And so he's just pointed at the spot where he wants to put the keyboard. He's going to run this red into the corner, pushing the white through past the yellow, leaving himself the black ball into that right hand centre. And this to restore his two frame cushion. Yeah, 3-1 in front now. Very good finish from Dom Cooney. Oh, cue ball's close. He's very fortunate. We're to keep the cue ball on the table, not how it's finished. Well, I think he's sandwiched with those reds, but I think he can see the one at the bottom of the table. Yeah, yeah. you see him come right across it. He's going back in the other corner until the other ball came and stopped the cue ball. I think you're right. I think he can see the one to bottom left, so he can go reds. I'm not sure he can go yellows. No. no he's not going to take anything on. I don't blame him with this layout. That tells you that he wanted yellows, obviously. So we're going to have a bit of cat and mouse because... I'm sure Scott Gillespie would like to have yellows as well. So, it's what, where can you find a spot to, to leave your opponent where they can't pot one? As Gillespie plays another containing shot. Reaching the halfway point on the match clock, only four frames played. 
And this one's got some serious mileage in it as well. Got to feel the match clock is going to play a part here. And that's when you want to be the one that's two or three frames in front. Has Scott left a little bit stuck out of this yellow? And we went for the double. Hit a cheeky go at that. It little shot to nothing. to play safe now because the yellows are starting to look not as inviting as they were earlier. Yeah, neither player want to take this on. Both been patient, quite rightly. and It's going to take a little while, you feel. They're, both, they're not really doing anything aggressive with the safety exchange. They're both just kind of, I wouldn't say even dangling the carrot, they're both just kind of keeping it contained. Well, for me, if I'm Don Cooney, I'm happy with 23 minutes more of this. Red ball in play. Well, Scott Gillespie's had enough and gone and potted a red. I don't blame him either because I'll, I'll tell you now that the, the, the reds aren't really any, any worse than the yellows now. There is a chance here that if that red just above the yellow sneaks into the corner, all you're looking at is the, it's the red that's next to the black, and it, and it obviously doubles into the middle. Well, didn't expect the miss, though. Bit of a wild one there from Scott Gillespie. yellow out a little bit and leave Scott Gillespie stuffed on the rail with his red. Yeah, clever little shot there from Scott Gillespie just blocking Don's yellow off with using the eight ball as the, the buffer. That can actually... If, if that's a plant into there, which I'm not sure it is. Then that either player could could attempt to finish him there. So obviously, if, if Dom leaves him there again in an angle, he could pop, Scott can pot it, one of those reds and kick into that and knock it in, and he, all of a sudden he's got game up. As can Dom. <coughs> I find these frames absolutely fascinating. I thought you were going to say something else there. <laughs> <laughs> the game within the game. Right. Scott is trying to attack. He's missed the red there, long, long one into the corner. It's I think if he feels that he can get the red in at the top and he leave an angle and one on the bottom left, he can go around and disturb the whole lot of that and open the frame up. 
Whereas Dom now is just trying to sort of, he needs to develop these two yellows and try and block off Scott, but. Did this frame start? It was around the 25 minute mark, wasn't it? It was, it, it was yes. Just under. 25. Yeah. yeah so it's only five minutes in. Gillespie's looking at red, off red. Now he's changed his mind. It was a bit of a gamble on whether he'd land on the next ball, but it was definitely going to open everything up. But misses the pot anyway, and now all that patience, all that time, all that just waiting and waiting and waiting here for Dom Cooney is going to pay off. He gets his opportunity to win this frame. Everything's been very soft going into the balls there. I know you want to stick that over the, the middle map, but I, I think now, you know, th that's one you've got to hit a, a lot firmer because you run the risk of just sticking to the balls you're, you're nudging and you want to you want to be out in the middle of the table. <coughs> Is he going to play off the rail and back and try and back scuttle this one into the middle? Oh, he had to go and he's missed and look at the opportunity he's just left Scott Gillespie yeah that's big that is a really really big moment in this match and that's all because he played very very gently when he shifted those two yellows apart could have afforded to go way firmer into those there by Gillespie. Just at the moment you feel like Dom Cooney's just keeping Scott Gillespie in this in this quarter-final. Yeah. I feel like Dom could have really <coughs> stretched ahead. He could really, on balance of the, the level of chances he's had, 5-0 is not an unrealistic scoreline. And every chance it could be 3-2, although Scott's not happy. I think he's just straight enough to be able to pull this back. But if he's got more angle than I think, then he may have a problem. Well, if he has got a bit more angle, then, then, then ride the cue ball into the left-hand rail. R just really play into it. Firm. Yeah, he's okay. He was straight enough. Just going off body language more than <coughs> anything else. It just looked like he was not... He obviously wasn't happy with the cannon he got because he's not happy with the control of the cue ball, but he was fine. And it is 3-2. Yeah, if I was choosing to watch one of them, Barbara Taylor, Emma Cunning would be one that would catch the eye for me. Yeah, there's some spice in that Kirsty Lee Davies Harriet Haynes match as well. Aye. There is some <coughs> matches to enjoy out there for sure. Another dry break for Scott Gillespie. And it, it feels like another really well hit break as well. Not not brilliant explosion, but look at the number of balls that have kind of spread far and wide. You know, you kind of he'll be kind of scratching his head thinking what does he have to do to make a ball here? Well you saw Scott's reaction there, you know, he's he's genuinely laughing, he can't believe it because he, he knows he's hitting a decent break. He can hit worse breaks and pot two or three balls. Yeah, and look at the layout he's left as well. It's Absolutely. another really good chance here for Dom Cooney.
played that very well. Got the pace correct. I think he's straight enough just to hold here. Just a real timing shot. Sort of pinch the bottom of the cue ball here and just bring it back like a quarter of an inch. Perfect. It's got back. It's worked very well this one. It was a nice split that the very generous Scott Gillespie left Tom Cooney. And down goes to black. And Cooney restores his two frame cushion once again. Last time he rode the, the right centre pocket. This time it's the left centre pocket. I think he got a little bit better contact there. I think he's much higher of the pocket this time. Yeah, that is better. I could hit almost on the brake line and the power was driven through the pack. Tricky opening shot and the two yellows around the eight ball. A little bit awkward. Could go reds, of course, but that makes the eight ball really awkward. Now it will be yellows. Big frame this for Don Cooney. You want to get this one on the board? We get it on the board in sort of two and a half minutes time. We're going into the last ten minutes of the match and he has a three frame cushion. That would be absolutely ideal for Don Cooney. Left too much angle and couldn't deal with the yellows by the eight ball and now he's ended up in absolutely no man's land. You can only assume he was trying to be on the yellow top right and uh, just got his line wrong. Thought he had his extension left there and he he'd already used it. Good pop, not quite topped it down far enough. I think he must have been trying to get down almost level with the the eight ball and the yellow to try and make the cut. in desperation yeah got went wrong very early that visit very early indeed actually had a chance if he wanted to I think he felt he could pick it apart but he had a chance on his very first shot to kind of come across to the right hand side and go back into the the area that was causing all the issues knowing he would be on one to bottom right and chose to go more delicate than that which normally I'd applaud but in hindsight he wasn't able to solve the problem Well, after this next shot, we will be going to 15 seconds of shots, so that will be something else for Scott Gillespie to negotiate for the rest of this frame. I 
He really want to put himself near that cushion, and he had acres of space to land in. Played that very well. shot there again from Scott and this to drag it back to within one of Don Cooney once again yeah the pattern of the match continues don't be saying it's going to be dry again It's not. It's incredible, isn't it? He doesn't know what to do. He's absolutely sick of this. I mean, look at that red's gone to drop there. It's just hung right over the edge of the corner pocket. I feel for him at the moment. It's just unbelievable. And at every chance for this pattern of the match to continue, Dom just stretch it to two. He's a there for him. Does need to work a good cue ball for the one at the bottom, but he has a route available to him. Got to do it all at 15 seconds a shot, of course. We are deep into the final 10 minutes. Oh, what have you done, Dom? What have you done? Just wanted to just screw into the yellow in the middle of the table. Everything's easy, and he's just slid past it. Well, he's recovered that very well. Not only that, he's landed on the red that's, that he wanted to land on just a second ago. He also has an angle just to punch this cue ball. It's just going to flick the cue ball across, leave himself an angle on the second to last red, and he can just naturally screw over place in the corner so he's been well he's recovered well from a very a, a silly mistake from from Dom's opinion probably it could have been very costly that simple eight ball then for that pattern to continue this is the O2 in front he will use every second but Still six minutes, 40 left. Doesn't really make much difference at this stage. He might ne need ending up the... He might need to have the time left at the end if Scott gets the next couple of chances. So you know, no need to worry about the clock. You're going to see some epic battles along the way in that. Oh, absolutely. We already have done. We've already seen some big ones. Oh, Barbara and, and, and Marion Jude. <laughs> And look at look at Scott Gillespie. Even Dom has to turn around and, and kind of say something here because he completely mishits the break again and he makes a ball again. So Scott Gillespie is hitting the, ball, the break really well, can't find a thing. And Dom mishits it. I think Dom's made off every break and Scott's missed off every break. Yeah. I think Dom's. I think uh, Scott's hitting the break better than Dom. It's a strange game. It is. It is indeed. A tale of two breaks. I think it would be unfair to... It, sometimes the break determines the kind of... The match. As yeah. in, you know... If it's if lots and lots of finishes off the break. But you can't sit here and say... It's 5-3 to Dom Cooney because he keeps getting all the chances off the break. You know, Scott's hadn't had chances. You know, he's not taken no. all of his. And Dom's definitely had more chances. No doubt about that. But, you know, Scott Gillespie equally... He could be in front at this stage. Be interesting to see what the what the chance conversion is. There you go. Percentage. Oh, 
where's he going? Well, he wasn't settled on that shot at all. He was still deciding whether to plan the black in the corner or, the, or go down for the middle when the buzzer started. Yeah, I never, I didn't even <coughs> think that he would be thinking um, middle. I thought corner all day, but maybe it's a little bit tighter than I thought. Oh, that's a... No, he didn't. He didn't get it. That's got to be a time foul. Absolutely. It, it looked a clear time foul, in which case it will be loss of frame. We will have to see this one again, but... But now, you know, it, it's it's absolutely anyone's. Look at that, 4.39 left. If he was three, three behind. The score is 5-4, not 5-3. Just worth pointing that out. But it should be, from Dom's perspective. And finally, Scott Gillespie makes <laughs> balls off a break. <coughs> you can hardly believe it. He's normally just walking back and sitting down yeah. in his chair. But he's flushed it again, hasn't he? It's another really good strike. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with his ball hitting. Nice second yellow into the middle. Scott Gillespie well and truly still in this match. Yeah, this is such a big visit for him now because of the, the mental torture that Dom will be going through. If he can put this one away and make it all square, I mean, you almost have to make him favourite. He's gone through this really calmly, hasn't he? Yep. You know, with everything that's been going on, you know, he's, he's struggled a little bit in the match to control the cue ball. He hasn't allowed anything to come in, in here. Any issues? This has been impressive. Going to be two and a half minutes left in this match after this frame just under. Would you believe it? We are all square with two minutes and 20 seconds left in the match. And, well, there is one player in there, the arena right now that is incredibly happy and one that will be d going through a little bit of mental torture right now. It's a perfect break for the first time in the match for Dom Cooney. And he gets the opportunity here. And this looks a good chance. I think he's on the yellow in the middle. And the yellows all go. It's just the one below the eight ball. He's got a track. But other than that, these have all got pockets. Yeah. This is there for him. He's just quickened his pace there. He knows. Yeah, you know, these sort of situations where some players can panic just slightly over rush now this is a not a routine break clearance of course especially the situation but it's it's one he knows he should get but equally he wants to make sure he can't be counted at the same time he just wants to make sure of it and doesn't have to rush he wants to just play this now into this center just roll through and he can pop the yellow doing above the black into this bottom left hand corner the yellow beneath the black will go into there and go the other way it, it just runs this through. So you can have a minute to put these three balls. Is he screwing back? Or oh, he's just got enough to get into the middle. Well, 
Sharpies on the black. This for a 6-5 lead. It's, there will be time left if he knocks it in, but... Yeah, not enough time you'd feel. It'd be a, almost a record clearance. How good is that from Dom Cooney? It really is, and I know it was a great chance, and can't take anything away from him if that was in the club and he gets a split of that he makes it all day long but with everything that's just happened to him the mental strength the calm nature I mean he's just had 22 minutes 20 15 seconds a shot and he was going in slow motion it was the calmest coolest break clearance of the match and he's going to get the chance but look at this layout. This is not a 25 second layout, not even close. He knew it the minute they came out like that. And it is the end of the road for Scott Gillespie. Dom Cooney is into a pro, semi, semi, pro series semi-final once again. Brilliant stuff from Dom Cooney. An amazing match there, Tony. It really was. It, it seemed yeah. to have everything, really.